today's video is going to be on this freestyle color acrylic full set stay tuned make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell Here, I'm just prepping the nail, getting ready to um, get out the skin and whatever else off the nail, smoothing everything out, um, making sure nothing is, no shiny areas are still left on the bed, dusting them off, applying my tips. So, when you apply your tips, you want to measure from side wall to side wall. Don't put too much glue on the nail. Um, if you apply to the nail or the nail tip, I apply to the nail tip. I put a drop and um, place it on the nail. It, it will spread out. Don't don't put too much because if you get up get it on the nail bed, you wanna uh, get that off so you have good um, adhesion when you get ready uh, to lay your acrylic. Here I'm using a straight edge nail clipper. The only clipper that I use. Um, my instant primer. I used to use no lift, but it wasn't working out too good. But this is kind of um, fail proof. I do not use a dehydrator. I dust them nails off and I apply my primer. I may apply primer like two or three times during the set. Two times, I know. So for my ombre, um, I'm applying some white acrylic. No particular brand. Some I just found out of a hair store, discount beauty outlet last me a pretty long time uh, you can get it for about 15 99 um just prime my white like i said so for my ombre i usually use me a secret cover pink which i'll be using that today or i will use glam and glitz Chestnut, those are the only two colors I use for um, my ombre. If you happen to see like a pink set, it's usually uh, cover pink, like a, from Mia Secrets, if you see that on my page or whatever. Oh yeah, follow my Instagram page, Nail by Tissa, nailed underscore by Tissa, T-I-S-S-A. Yeah, I'm going on with the um right now. That blue that's sitting up there, that's something I mixed for her a few months ago. And she cried to have it back again today. I was scared of it for real because I thought it wasn't going to blend well. But nothing a little glitter won't fix. Glitter fixes everything. Just got to find your way around. You got to just use what you got, you know, in the end. I always tell your PB, you know, trust the process. Right. I'm getting ready to encapsulate everything and add my glitter on the nail so we can get things pulled together and looking like some. I know this angle wasn't too hot on this video, but the next one, I'm going to make sure I have my angle exactly how I need to be so that y'all can see everything. Um, I hate to even watch a video that angle ain't right. And I use several beads when I'm applying my acrylic. Um, right here, I'm using a size 10 acrylic brush. I, um, I use however many beads I need to get my desired look. If you use a one B, you know, kudos to you. But your girl still using about four or five Bs. Whatever it takes. Um, I do what's best for me. Don't get so caught up in what another nail tech doing, you know, do what works best for you. Um 
yeah, just do whatever working best. Do whatever's working best for you, y'all. Um, don't try to keep up with nobody. Everybody work at their own pace. You have to remember that. Um, repetition, hard work, and dedication is what I go by. It's gonna get better. So, yeah, I would like for y'all to tell me what kind of sets y'all want to see me do. Swear the angle going to be better the next time. Um, y'all be right on top of it like y'all looking down at me doing nails. Yeah, tell me what kind of nail sets y'all want to see me do. I'm going to be doing some giveaways. Hopefully some product reviews. Um, I'm definitely going to start vlogging. You know, day in the life of a nail tech. Uh, when I'm going out and about, when I'm going to the nail supply stores, all of it, everything. When yeah. I'm getting ready to, I know this, this damn man snowing while I'm trying to do a voice over. But anyway, yeah, when I'm going out to the nail supply stores, getting ready to set up for my new clients, you know, everything, booking appointments, all that. I'm going to have all kind of content on here. But drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see. Yeah, my trash can fall away from me. So I usually just fold them doggone paper towels up. And put them to the side until I'm done. Okay, I'm shaping the nails. Um, During this process, you want to ask your clients to loosen up so you can get that shape. And exactly how you need it. I use a 100 um, slash 180 grit file. Uh, I like to use 100 100, but you just got to be careful with any file because you can cut your client. Remember to pull that meat back on the side and get in them corners and file them nails. Uh, I like white buffers. I usually don't try to buy white buffers unless I just can't find nothing else. Um, it's her favorite part to get her nails buffed, y'all. That's so crazy, but that's what she love. Um, I actually find it um satisfying to file off gel polish. Absolutely hate to take off rhinestones, but yeah. And my rhinestones usually don't come off unless you doing something you really ain't supposed to, you know, supposed to be doing with your nails. Your nails are not tools. Um, in the first place, but I use KDS nail glue for my um, rhinestones and to apply my tips. And I can guarantee you, I be having to pry them things off. I can't stand to see y'all come back with them all on, but <laughs> that's a good thing. All right, so put me some more peptide down, clean it off with some alcohol. It's actually some hand sanitizing spray, so it's actually two in one. Um. Now we're putting on these butterfly decals, water decals. I had them sitting there soaking the whole time in a dampened dish with some water. Um, yeah. I'm probably going to say it um, like, I don't know how many times. Yeah. Putting these decals on for her. It took us probably about 20 minutes to decide on these. What decals? Now I'm finna get ready to get this good some rhinestones, y'all. I know these kids ain't calling me. But yeah. She had to get her a little snack. Y'all, let me tell you, I usually don't allow clients to eat while I'm doing their nails. But she's the last client of the night and she thinks she can get away with murder. But if these nail had had some of that uh, Pringle dust in there, she would have been good and mad. But yeah, anyway, giving her a few little rhinestones on that pinky. Like I said, she ain't have school, so she really clothes. can't have too much. But we'll be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe.